Hey friend, it is Kate here. Thank you so much for joining me for a class today. Now I've got a Pilates class just for you. This is an hour long Pilates class that is more of an intermediate style um, sequence. Now beginners, you're always welcome to join in and just pause or you know take it back a little bit if we need to. For those of us that are looking for a nice workout, this is a good one today. So we will start in a seated position. Go ahead, get ready, let's get going. Remember, if you don't have time to do this class at this moment, no big deal. Just add it to your to watch later list and you can join me at any time that works best for you. We'll start in an easy seat, whatever feels best for your body today. Go ahead and give yourself a little sway, a little wiggle. Roll the shoulders back, lift the head higher. Take a moment to close your eyes and just check in with yourself. Notice if there's a particular part of your body that feels a little tense, a little tight. Is there something you know you need to work on? Not a right or wrong, but it's always nice to do a check-in before we really start to move. With eyes opened or closed, lift your ears up a little bit higher. Think about wrapping the tips of your shoulder blades together behind your back while at the same time drawing the ribs in. Pull the navel to spine. Lift a little higher out of your waist. Open your eyes if they aren't already. Take a big inhale. Big breath out. Dip your chin to your chest, lift the back of your head up a little higher, roll your right ear to right shoulder and pause. Lift your left ear up, press your left shoulder down. If we'd like to, we'll drape our right hand over our head. No yanking and pulling, just a little extra weight can feel nice. Maybe think about lifting your left ear up higher, pressing the left shoulder down, take a breath. Release the hand, roll your chin back to chest. Reach the back of your head up and opposite ear to opposite shoulder. And again, we can hold here without the arm or you can drape your left hand over. Again, I'm not yanking, it's just a little added weight to maybe take the stretch a little bit deeper. Let that go. Roll your chin back to chest. Bring your gaze upright. Take both hands high overhead. Pause. Did you just splay your ribs at all? Can you wrap them in? Can we lift up a little bit higher? Now this will be kind of funny. Catch your opposite elbow and kind of push the forearms up to the sky, really stretching through your side body. Take a big inhale. Big breath out. Let that go. Both hands lift and then kind of hug the elbows in the opposite direction. The, op the way that feels a little awkward. That's okay. Good to kind of mix it up. Once more, lift up and out of your waist. Push your forearms up to the sky. Unravel both hands high. Wiggle out the fingers. Take the hands behind the head. Push the elbows wide. Take a big breath and a little twist to the right. Inhale, look forward. Little twist to the left. Inhale, look forward, and then little forward fold. Drop your chin in, tuck your elbows into your side. Take a moment here, imagine your head is heavier, it's just gently being pulled down towards your shins, I'm not actually caving in as much as I could. I'm more kind of leaning off my sitting bones, rocking my sacrum, that big bony plate at the base of your spine back towards the ground so I can find some openness and then slowly bring yourself right back up to a nice tall seat. One more time, hands, relax, right ear to right shoulder. Once more, maybe drape your right hand over your head. This time, extend your left arm away. You can flex the heel of your hand and really push it nice and far away from the body. Find some internal and external rotation of your entire arm. And then pause, take a breath, release both hands, roll your chin to chest, bring your gaze up, and then left ear to left shoulder. Once more, you have the option to drape the hand overhead or forget about that, and then maybe extend the right hand away. I am flexing the right wrist, I'm pushing the heel of my right hand away, and then I start to find some rotation of my arm, of my shoulder a little bit, just kind of moving around. And as you feel ready, let that go. Release both hands, roll your chin back to chest, bring your gaze upright. Once more, both hands lift nice and high. 
rotate the pinkies towards one another, lift up and out of your waist, catch your elbow. Now once more, push your forearms up to the sky, pull the navel in, take a big inhale, take a little stretch over to the right. This is more about fanning open the left side body than it is about the right side. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, pull the navel to spine, lift up higher. And then same thing, other side. Stretch over to the left, fanning open the right ribs. Big inhale. Exhale, let that go. Take both hands up nice and high, and then catch the opposite elbow. Push both hands high, wrap the ribs in, tummy in as well. And then again, a little stretch over to the right. Exhale, return. Stretch over to the left. Exhale, return, let that go. Once more, both hands lift high, hands behind the head, elbows wide, twist to the right. Inhale, look forward, twist to the left. Look forward, and then tuck the chin to the chest round, wrap your elbows in towards the side of your head, kind of in towards each other. Take a nice big full inhale. Big breath out and slowly start to forward fold. You can take this as deep or shallow as you want to. Perhaps you stop right here. Maybe you really want a forward fold right now. Just kind of waking up the body. Release the hands slowly. Roll yourself all the way up to a nice tall seat. We're going to do a little upper body work. If you really wanted to make this more challenging for yourself, you could grab some hand weights. I would say three pounds or less if you chose that option. Either way, though, we will take the hands straight out in front of us. Envision you're holding a little present. Give it a squeeze. Wrap the shoulder blades in. Pull the navel up and in. And just find some shoulder protraction, retraction. Reach the shoulders forward. I give you permission to cave your chest in and then pull them back. Reach the hands and shoulders forward and pull them back. One more time. Reach it forward. Pull them back. Pause. Sit taller, sit straighter, and open up across the chest. Keep that feeling of holding a heavy present. Our arms are nice and active. And now this time we're still doing that shoulder protraction and retraction, but we're adding a circle in. So I'm going back and around, up and over, down and around, up and over. Once or twice more in this direction. And then reverse, opposite way. Pause, hold, navel to spine, drop your right hand lower than your left, give yourself a hug, give yourself a hug, poke the elbows forward, and circle the elbows around. Same, or same thing, opposite direction. Pause, unravel, drop the left hand lower than the right, give yourself a hug, give yourself a hug, elbows up, and then circle. Opposite direction. Pause, unravel. Flip your palms up to the sky. Rotate from underneath the armpits. Navel to spine. Try and touch the pinkies towards one another. Lift your sternum up a little higher. Slide your head up to the sky. Take a big inhale. Exhale, push the heels of the hands up. <sighs> inhale, drop them down to sternum height. Exhale, push the heels of the hands up. <sighs> drop them right back down. Exhale, lift. <sighs> inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Two more up and down. Last one up, pause. Reach out and away. Pull the navel in. It's like you're holding something heavy and you're trying to shine your inner armpits kind of up to the sky. I'm rotating from underneath there. Make sure your shoulder blades are still trying to kiss towards each other in the back of the body so we're not caving the chest in here. We're lifting our sternum up. Lightly pulse the heels of your hands up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Navel to spine, lift higher, pulse again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. One more time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Keep the hands at the same height. Inhale, slide them open to a great big wide kind of V. Exhale, pull the navel to spine, bring the pinkies to touch. Inhale, slide them open. Exhale, bring the pinkies to touch. <sighs> Inhale, open. Exhale, close. 
Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Two more. Exhale, close. Last one, open, pause. Reach the fingertips further away. Pull the belly button in. Take a great big inhale. And now pull the elbows into your sides on a count of four, three, two, one. Quick out. Pull four, three, two, one one quick out now as you do that little quick out think of one of those fancy little uh drawers that you can't slam you know they start fast and then there's that resistance right at the end so we pull four three two one exhale out in four three two one exhale out two more four three two one out pause now drop the elbows it's kind of like you're in a really big w sort of shape keep your chest nice and open take a big inhale exhale pull the pinkies towards one another elbows as well inhale open see if you can keep the rotation of the arms the same as we open and close now even though i do not have weights in my hands i'm envisioning that i'm holding something heavy my arms are active all of my muscles are working hard to hold them in place and again like i said you could actually be holding weights at this time so you could really feel the resistance it's totally up to you friends exhale pull the navel in reach them right back out exhale pull the navel in reach it right back out two more keep the chest open no caving in last one open hold now we're gonna repeat so start with reaching your hands out in a way take it in we go four three two one push out in four three two one push out again four three two one push out two more four three two one push out last one four three two one push pause belly button in head high take a big inhale exhale slide the hands towards one another <sighs> inhale drag them right back open exhale tone the tummy slide the hands in <sighs> drag them right back open Pull them in. It's like you're trying to hug your inner arms together. Reach it out. Pull it in. Reach it out. Last one, bring it in and pause. Navel in, head high, take a breath. Little pulses of your heel, of the heels with the hands up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Belly button in, head high. Pulse again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one pause one more time eight seven six five four three two one hold take a big breath relax shake it out i know that was harder than it looks sit up tall sit up straight belly button in both hands lift high over the head this is a stretch i'm not making you work too hard at the moment grab your elbows push them up high take a big inhale big stretch over bring yourself up big stretch over bring yourself up unravel take both hands in front of you drop your right hand give yourself a hug give yourself a hug we might do the exact same thing if we have more range of motion you can touch the backs of your hands together you might even bind now again you can circle the elbows that can be a very lovely way to stretch the back of the body but for me what feels good after all of that arm work is to lift my elbows up take a big inhale and as I exhale I try and pull my hand away from my face bring it in pull my hands away from my face bring it in last time away relax shake it out both hands out left hand lower hug hug poke the elbows do we stay here do we try and take the bind no big deal if we can't find those circles if it feels good and then lift the elbows big inhale exhale pull the hands away from the face bring it back in Exhale, pull the hands away from the face, bring it back in. Oh, that feels particularly nice on this side. I could stay there a little longer, and you can too if you need to, but shake it out. Go ahead, take your feet out in front of you, and plant your feet into the floor, hands behind your thighs. Now, all we're going to do is rock back into our Pilates C-curve and come back up. We can start with our hands behind us, or we can take them off, but we're going to go back for four, three, two, one, quick up, down, four, three two one exhale up down four three two one and up last one four three 
two, one, up, hold. Now roll back and pause. So we roll down into our Pilates C curve, hold, stomp your feet into the floor, pull the navel in, reach your fingertips further away, slide your hands out to a great big T, exhale, cinch your waist, pull the thumbs back towards one another. Now as I'm holding here, I do have a rounded spine. Remember Pilates C curve is like if we were Glenda the Good Witch and we were sitting inside our beautiful pink bubble, our spine would be touching the circumference of the bubble. We want that rounded feeling, not a flat back. Exhale, pull. Pull the navel in. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, open. Exhale, bring it in. Pause. Flip the palms. Catch your heavy present. You're giving it a big squeeze. Lift your present up to the sky. Exhale, pull it down in front of your face. Inhale, lift your present up to the sky. Exhale, pull it down in front of your face. Three more. Inhale, up. Exhale, cinch the waist down. Two more up, exhale, cinch the waist down. <sighs> Last one, bring it back, pause, roll all the way up to a nice tall seat. Now we're gonna keep our knees bent, but we're gonna roll all the way down to the ground and then all the way back up. What I often see when I do this roll down and roll up is what I call the throw your present moment. We wanna avoid that. Let me just show you and then we'll do it together. If I'm gonna do this throw your present, what's going to happen is I'm gonna roll back I'm gonna take my hands over my head and then I'm gonna hurdle my present out so I can propel myself up. We're not using that kind of yank of our hands up. This should be great big tummy work. So for me, go ahead and let your legs move wherever you need to as we do this. They can kind of come in, take it further away. But as we go back, feel each little vertebra connect to the ground beneath you. Inhale, hands over head. And then right here, this exhale, this part right here where it's so hard, I exhale and I pull myself up. Now it is hard for me to do that when I stop and start. And so there was a little bit of a yank there, but we want to avoid that. So I slowly go down, reach my hands up, and then big exhale, slowly pull myself up. Inhale, tip back. And then roll right back up as much as you can keep that action smooth and steady last one back last one up hold right there take a breath take an easy seat both hands lift high hands behind the head elbows wide little twist right Look forward, little twist left. Look forward, we're gonna drop down to our tummy. Find your way to your mat. Untuck the toes, press the tops of the feet into the floor. Really press your pubic bone into the floor and think about hovering your belly button away. Your belly button probably won't actually move away from the floor, mine does not. It's just that feeling of trying to engage the tummy muscles so much they're uh, uh, trying as much as they can to lift up. Now, wrap the elbows towards one another, push them down towards your heels, and then inhale, little tiny baby cobra. This is not a big one. Think about pushing the back of your head up to the sky. You might even feel like you're giving yourself a double chin. I would much prefer that than craning the neck. That is not so good on our cervical vertebra. Instead, I kind of pull my chin into my chest. I push the back of my head up. I get a nice big stretch. Big inhale, look over your right shoulder. Inhale, look forward, look over your left shoulder. Inhale, look forward, lower down. Again, roll, lift up, pause, navel to spine. Take a big inhale. Can you pick up your right hand? Did the weight in your hips, in your tummy, did anything kind of shift? Can we even it out? Set the right hand down. Lift the back of the head up more so than the top of the head. Pick up the left hand. Again, did we notice any changes? Both hands down both hands up both hands down hug the elbows together push them towards your heels maybe lift up just a hint higher lower all the way down to the ground take your hands in front of your face I'm gonna lift up so I don't smash my mic and so I can keep talking to you but you can either stay lifted like me and again there maybe is that tuck of the chin in or you can soften your forehead all the way down to the mat pubic bone pushes down 
belly button pulls up, actively reach both of your feet nice and far away so we find some space through the front of our hips, the front of our psoas. Take a big inhale, push more into your left foot, and then lift up your right. Notice, did you crunch your back at all? Did it feel like you overly arched? Pubic bone down, lengthen through the spine, squeeze your thigh butt connection point, or your thut as I like to call it. Take a big inhale, exhale, pick the thigh up a little higher, drop it down. Exhale, squeeze, lift a little higher, drop it down. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Three more. And two. Last one, hold. Reach the toe further away. Press down through the left leg. Belly button in. Pulse the thigh. Pulse the heel up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Pulse again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one one pause one more time eight seven six five four three two one hold purposely drop the right foot exhale pick up the left reach the toe further away make sure that our shoulders have not moved there's no tension through our neck and face smile we love it big inhale exhale thigh lifts inhale lower as you lift and lower the leg, if it feels like one hip is driving more into the mat, can you even that out? Can you think about cinching the waist, almost pushing down through the right foot, the right side a little bit more? Two more. Last one, lift, pause. Great big inhale, little pulses up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Pulse again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. One more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Purposely set the foot down. Take a little wiggle, a little shake. This is a little bit different. Keep pressing into your left foot and I want you to flex and bend your right. Now, we might not move very much at all in this one, that's okay. Relax the neck and face. If you have your head lifted like I do, at least look down at your hands and really reach the back of your head further away. Take a big inhale. Actively press down into your left foot and then push your right heel up to the sky. Drop it down. Exhale, lift. <sighs> inhale, lower. Now, as you lift and lower, notice again, is one hip kind of digging more into your mat? Can you even that out? Can you pull your navel up and in? Two more, exhale up, inhale down. Two more up, inhale down. Last one up, pause, hold right there, take a great big breath. Just a little pulse for three. Three, two, one, pause. Pulse, three, two, one, pause. Two more, three, two, one, last time. Three, two, one. Set the foot down. Relax. Flex and bend the other foot. Drive the right leg down. Pull the navel up and in. Relax the chest and face. Take a big inhale. Exhale, pick up the thigh. Drop it down. I squeeze my thought so much. I pick up the thigh. I drop it down. Exhale, lift. <sighs> inhale, lower. Keep pushing the pubic bone down so we open up across the front of our body and we resist the urge to overly arch through our low back two more up and down last one up pause now comes those tiny pulses three two one pause pulse three two one pause two more three two one last time three two one let it go wiggle anything out now we had our legs parallel before. We are going to lightly turn them out and kind of move your legs away from each other. They're a little wider than the mat. Um, and then this is kind of funky, but again, we're gonna bend our knee and press down through the left inner thigh. It's kind of like I'm hugging my left inner thigh down to the ground. Take a big inhale, pubic bone down, belly button up and in. Try and pick up your right thigh. Drop it down. Exhale, squeeze, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze, lift. <sighs> Inhale, lower. Three more up and down. Two more up and down. Last one up, pause. Hug your inner left thigh to the ground. Try and pick up your outer right thigh a little higher. Take a big inhale, little pulse up. Three, two, one, pause. Pulse three, two, one, pause. Two more, three, two, one, last time, three, two, one, 
leg down and relax. Shake anything out you need to. Bend the other leg. Hug your right inner thigh to the ground. Press down through that right inner thigh. Pubic bone down, belly button up and in. Really wrap the ribs together here. And then again, big inhale. Exhale, pick up your thigh. Drop it down. Exhale, pick up your thigh. Drop it down. Think about stabilizing through both of your forearms just as much as the lower body. I'm actively pressing down through my elbows and palms to keep that area nice and stable. I am tucking my chin just a little bit to my chest so I can remove the feeling or the desire to kind of crane my neck as I look up. This time lift pause, belly button in, pubic bone down, shoulders are relaxed. Little pulses, three, two, one, pause. Pulse, three, two, one pause two more three two one last time three two one relax drop it down take a little wiggle a little windshield wiper side to side and then from here push yourself back up to a nice easy seat and all we're gonna do is one more time. Find the start of our Pilates C curve, hands out in front of us. We're going to slowly lower all the way down to the ground. Can you hold your imaginary present? Can you knit the ribs together? And then lower down with me on a count of five, four, three, two, one. Walk the feet in, open up across your chest. Let's just do a few little pelvic tips, rock back and forth, making sure that we really feel and understand the difference of our low back imprinting or that kind of arch away. Now we are going to remain imprinted, so bring the low back down, open up across your chest, hands by your sides. Take a big inhale, pick up your right leg, take another breath, pick up your left leg. Squeeze the inner thighs together. It's like you've got a pencil skirt on or you've got, you know, a boa constrictor wrapped around your inner thighs. So that's how much I want us to keep our inner thighs trying to touch one another. If there's some space, it's certainly not the end of the world, but we're going for parallel legs. Inhale, right toe down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, left toe down. Exhale, lift. As we go back and forth, it's less important to me how far your toe kind of reaches from your body. What's more important is making sure we remain in an imprinted spine. Low back is constantly touching the ground beneath me. <sighs> Inhale, toe down. Exhale, lift. <sighs> Inhale, toe down. Exhale, lift. <sighs> back and forth at your own pace. No hurry, no rush. Beautiful job. One more to each side. Now, zip up those inner thighs together, pause. Externally rotate the legs, bring them back. Externally rotate the legs, bring them back. Little open, little close. Little open, little close. Last time open, pause. Navel to spine, low back down, right toe down, inner thigh lifts. Left toe down, inner thigh lifts. Each time I lift the leg up, it's like a big punch to the gut. Inhale down, tone and lift. Inhale down, tone and lift. Keep the shoulders connected to the ground beneath you. Point your nose up to the sky. Relax the head and face. Give yourself a little nod, a little smile. Make sure that there's no cramping going on up there. Two more to each side. Last set, last one, and then pause. Legs back together, both toes down, exhale both toes up. And if the legs do not go as far away or they don't drop all the way to the ground, that's okay. It's more important to me that we are keeping our tummy pulling in. We're resisting the urge to dome or cone out the tummy. Two more. Last one, pause, rotate the legs open, navel down, pull up belly button in, and open up across the chest, both toes down, exhale, both legs up, both toes down, exhale, both legs up. You can almost hug the ground with your palms and with your shoulders, making sure that the upper body is helping to stabilize us. Two more down. Exhale, lift. 
Last one down. Exhale, lift, pause, take a big breath. Bring the inner thighs to touch. Set the feet on the floor. Immediately pick up your feet, find the top of your bridge. Squeeze your thigh butt connection point, point your nose to the sky. Take a big, deep, full inhale. Big breath out. Another big inhale. Big breath out. Pick up your right heel. Find a little stretch across the bottom of the right foot. Maybe push down to lift up a little higher. Set the right heel down. Pick up the left heel. Try to keep the hips even with one another. Once more, push down. Tip the pubic bone, lift a little higher. Both heels down. Both heels up. Both heels down. Cinch the waist, both heels up. Two more down. Squeeze your thud as you lift. Last one down. Lift. Set both feet down. Roll all the way down to the ground. Hold the belly in. Extend your right foot up to the sky. Point your toe. Cinch your waist. Teeny tiny circles. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Again, stabilize through your left side. Keep that left knee so still. Pause. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold, activate all the muscles in the leg, reach the foot further away, drop the leg down to in line with your opposite thigh. Tiny circles here. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause, reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause, again. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause, last time, reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Drop the leg a little bit lower, as low as you can go without arching the back. Stomp into your right foot, wrap the ribs in circles. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Again. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Last time. Five, four, three, two, one one hold take a big breath lift it up in line with your other thigh circles five four three two one pause reverse five four three two one pause again five four three two one pause last time reverse five four three two one hold big inhale all the way up Reach long through the back of the leg. Circles here. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Again. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Right leg down. Immediately lift the left leg. Tummy in. Shoulders back. Neck soft. Little circles. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Again. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Last time. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Drop it down. Seal the inner thighs. Really reach the low back down. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one one pause again keep pressing into your right foot on the floor keep that right knee so stable pause last time reverse five four three two one hold drop it down reach long stretch the entire leg and then we go five four three two one pause reverse five four three two one pause again five four three two one pause last time reverse five four three two one hold leg back up reach it long and here we go five four three two one pause reverse five four three two one pause again five four three two one pause last time reverse five four three two one hold big inhale exhale lift here we go last set five four three two 
one, pause, reverse. Turn on all your muscles. Reach your toes far away from your body as you possibly can. Pause again, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Last time, reverse, five, four, three, two, one, hold, take a breath. Set the foot down, immediately lift up into your bridge. Shoulders down, navel in, pubic bone lifting. Squeeze your thigh, pick up your right heel, set it down, pick up your left heel, set it down, pick up both heels, drop it down. Again, right heel and left heel and both heels. One more set, just like that. Squeeze the thigh, keep pushing the pubic bone up, drop it down, squeeze lift, drop it down, both heels up. Now pause there for a moment, push down into your feet a little bit more, take a great big breath, roll all the way down to the ground. Pick up your right leg, hold. Actually, go ahead and walk your feet together before you do that so our legs are a little bit closer. Push down into both feet, take a big inhale. Inhale, lift your pubic bone up, find a bridge, roll all the way down. Lift your pubic bone up, find your bridge, roll all the way down. Three more up and lower. Two more lift, squeeze your thigh and lower. Last one up, pause, take a big breath, big sigh out. Lower the hips, set your right foot down, pick up your left, same thing other side. Relax the neck and shoulders, keep space between chin and chest, inhale, hips lift. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, roll down. Up we go, soften. Two more up, soften. Last one up, pause, squeeze your thigh, pull the navel in, shoulders down the back, take a big breath, lower all the way down to the ground. Both feet onto the ground, heel toe your feet a little bit wider, knock the knees together. Just take a nice easy twist. And then heel toe them back in line with the hips so they're not together anymore. Hands behind the head, elbows nice and wide, take a big inhale, imprint the spine, curl head and chest up. Look over the horizon of your knees, not down on our belly, not up at the sky, just gently over. Big breath. Exhale, pick up the right leg. Set it down, pick up the left leg. Set it down. As you lift and lower, keep the head, the chest at the same height. This action, this kind of lift and lower, of course our legs are working, but I want you to think of it first as tummy leg. Inhale, lower. My tummy engages, my leg lifts. I lower. Just back and forth, smooth and steady. Exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, two more, last set, last one, keep your head and chest lifted as you set the foot down, pause, point the toes, open them wide, imprint the spine, lift a little higher, big inhale, exhale, right leg, inhale lower, exhale, left leg, inhale lower, cinch the waist, lift, drop it down, tone the tummy lift drop it down. Now, obviously our knees are a little bit lower than they were before, but still look in that same general direction, not down at your tummy, not up at the sky, making space between chin and chest. Exhale up, lower down, exhale up, lower down. Beautiful job. No hurry, no rush. Smile when it gets hard. Know you're doing good things for your body. I am so proud of you, no matter how much, how little class you're doing today. Exhale up, Inhale down, exhale up, inhale down. One more set, last one, both toes down. Draw them together, set the heels down, relax. Walk the feet in, seal the inner thighs, imprint the spine, lift up, pause. Shoulders down the back, squeeze the inner thighs again like you've kind of got like a pencil skirt on or your legs are being wrapped together. Both heels lift, both heels lower. Notice if you're letting your, your ankles kind of splay away from each other, try and keep them almost reaching towards each other. Two more. Last one. Set both heels down, pause, navel to spine, chest open, take a breath, exhale, pick up your right leg. Set it down. Exhale, pick up your left leg. 
set it down. If your hips are kind of wiggle wobbling, if they are lowering and lifting, just drop them a little bit lower so you can keep them consistent. It's more important to me that they try and stay even with one another, more so than they try and stay up as high as they possibly can. Exhale, cinch the waist, lift, drop it down. Exhale, squeeze your thigh, lift, drop it down. Keep tipping your pubic bone up to the sky. Beautiful job, friends. Last one. Even it out. Both feet down. Lift the pubic bone higher, shoulders on the back, heels up, heels down. Heels up, heels down. Two more up and down. Last one up. Pubic bone up, take a big breath. Roll it to the ground. Heel toe the feet wide. Knock the knees together. Little windshield wiper side to side. Reach your hands high over your head. It might feel good to tuck the chin in. It might feel nice to kind of arch the back when we're doing a little stretch like that. I'm okay with whatever feels best in your body, friends. We're all a little bit different. Now, we are going to do what I call a 50, not quite a 100. A 50 on each side. Let's start with both hands behind our head. Take a big inhale, imprint the spine, curl head and chest up. Now, I want you to pick up your left leg, keep the left leg in place, if that's too much, you set it down, and take the right hand away. Now, reach your right fingertips towards your right heel, curl a little bit higher, cinch the waist, and begin to exhale and push the hand down. Four, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, five, four, three, two, one, exhale. <sighs> inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale. <sighs> inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale. <sighs> inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale. <sighs> Last one. Exhale, pause, reach longer, take a big deep breath. Five times, tap your left toe down, exhale, cinch the waist lift. Tap your left toe down, exhale, cinch the waist lift. Three more down, trim the waist up. Two more down, trim the waist up. Last one, lift, pause. Left foot down, head and chest, relax. Take a moment, hands behind the head, big breath. Curl head and chest up, pause. This time, right foot up and send your left hand away. Now again, I'm curling, I'm folding from the sternum, I'm pulling the knee into my chest, and I start my pulses. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale. <sighs> Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale. <sighs> Think about sealing the inner thighs together, keeping your right elbow trying to poke off nice and wide. Low back touching. <sighs> Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale. <sighs> Last time, pause, navel to spine, look a little higher over the knees, inhale, tap the toe down, lift. Inhale, tap the toe down, exhale, lift. Three more down, exhale, pick it up. Two more down, exhale, pick it up. Last one, foot down, head and chest down. Heel toe the feet wider, knock, take a little sway, a little wiggle side to side. Pull your knees into your chest, give yourself a big hug, big squeeze, circle the knees around. Circle them in the opposite direction. Take a little stretch, pull your right knee into your chest, take your left leg long, find a nice big stretch. Oh, that feels particularly good. I could hang out there for a while. Same thing, other side. Pull both knees in, take a little rock and roll, not a full like rolling like a ball, just a nice massage on the back of the body until you come up to a nice tall seat. Sit tall, sit straight, belly button in, head high, take a big deep breath, lift the hands up, hands behind the head, elbows wide, twist to the right, look forward, twist to the left look forward let it go now from here friends we are going to come to a little tabletop so find your tabletop pause remember you can always drop down to your forearms if this is feeling too much on our wrist but i want our belly button in our chest nice and open take a big deep breath just a little cat and cow at first and then pause find your tabletop it's like a hand is supporting your tummy, lifting it up and in. Extend your right foot out and away. Squeeze your thigh. 
Grow long from the tip of your head through your body out your toe. Make sure you're not letting your left shoulder kind of jet forward, pull them back in line with each other. Teeny tiny circles here. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Again. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Last time, reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Flex your back foot and touch it to the ground. Take a great big breath. Exhale, step up to your plank. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Drop your right knee down. Find your tabletop on this side. Belly button up and in. Float and lift the foot. Once more, grow long from your head through your body, out your toe. Squeeze your thigh. Tiny circles. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Again. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Last time, reverse. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Flex the foot. Step down, take a big breath. Exhale, lift up to your plank and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Left knee down, pick up the right leg once more. From here, flex your foot and bend your knee like we did earlier. Think about almost squeezing the inner thighs together. If you need to drop your knee a little bit so we do not arch our back, that's okay. Like we did on our tummy, take a big inhale, exhale, push the foot up, drop it down. Exhale, push the foot up, drop it down. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Two more up and down. Last one up, pause, take a great big breath. Take a nice sigh out. Little pulses of your heel up for three, two, one. Pause, squeeze the inner thighs, tone the tummy. Pulse it up, three, two, one. Pause, again, three, two, one, last time, three, two, one. Elongate the leg, flex the foot, step it down, take a breath, step up to your plank. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Right knee down, lift it up, give it a flex and bend. Again, you can drop the knee down, it's not as important to me how high it is, it's more important that our spine is long. We find that lift away from our wrist on the floor, take a big inhale, exhale, squeeze with that push, drop it down. Squeeze and push, drop it down. Keep pulling the inner thighs towards one another, broadening across the chest. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Three more up and down. Two more up and down. This time lift, pause, navel in. Squeeze your thighs so hard you've got a pencil there. Little pulses up. Three, two, one, pause. Pulse three, two, one, pause. Two more, three, two, one, last time, three, two, one. Extend the leg, drop it down, find length in your back, step up, hold, five, four, three, two, one, left leg down, lift the leg, now again, we're gonna bend, we're going to externally rotate. Now, I, I do not want that hip to lift super duper high, it's more just kind of poking it off to the side. Take a big, deep breath, Toe can be pointed, flex soft, you do do you, but think about pushing your outer right thigh up to the sky, drop it down. Exhale, lift, drop it down. Cinch the waist, lift, and lower. Cinch the waist, lift, and lower. Two more up and down. Last time up, pause, belly button in, shoulders broad, take a breath. Pulse three, two, one, pause. Pulse three, two, one, pause. Two more, three, two, one, last time, three, two, one. Return to parallel, elongate the legs, step it down, big inhale, step up to plank for five, four, three, two, one, right knee down, lift, flex, externally rotate without lifting your hip, belly button in, lift away from the mat like you're trying to pull your palms away, look at the front edge of your mat so we do not crane our neck, take a big inhale, exhale, lift the outer thigh, drop it down, rotate, lift the outer thigh, drop it down, exhale, rotate open and lower, rotate open and lower, two more, last one up, pause, belly button in, shoulders broad, little pulses, three, two, one, pause, pulse, three, 
two, one, pause, two more, three, two, one, last time, three, two, one, back to parallel, elongate, stretch, take a big inhale, step up, hold for five, four, three, two, one, lower all the way down onto your tummy, untuck the toes, press the tops of the feet into the floor, hug the elbows towards one another, reach your head a little further away, tiny little baby cobra, exhale lower down, tiny little baby cobra, lower down, this time open your palms, or open your arms a little wider than your shoulders, tent your fingertips, lift into a bigger cobra only so much that we feel like we're lengthening through our spine that we're not overly arching the back roll down of course there is some there is spinal extension going but it's more in our thoracic the upper portion of our spine than the low back that we want to focus on this time lift up pause press the back of your head up press your pubic bone down pull the navel away from the ground take a big inhale look over your right shoulder return Look over your left shoulder, return, set everything down. Take an easy little windshield wiper, side to side. No hurry, no rush. Elongate the legs. And then one more time, hands by our side, elbows towards one another, send the head further away. Press into the feet a little bit more, press into your pubic bone a little bit more, lift the heart and chest up. Now, like we did at the start of class, right hand lifts, notice what happened in your low body, can we keep it still? Set it down, exhale, left hand lifts, try and even that out, if we move, set it down, both hands lift, drop it down. Again, right hand up, tone the tummy, push your pubic bone down, tone the tummy, tuck your chin into your chest, left hand, now both hands. Now, can you start to push both hands? You can make kind of a cactus shape, pushing your elbows and hands back behind you like you're trying to reach up to the sky. Tuck the chin in a little bit more. Take a great big breath. Big sigh out. Try and lift up just a little bit higher. And then let everything go. Bend the knees, little windshield wiper, side to side. From here, friends, we're gonna come up into a downward facing dog. And I've got a challenge if you're in the mood, if you just wanna find your dog, that's okay. But for those of us that are interested, tuck your toes, pull your elbows towards one another, pull the navel up and in, take a big inhale, and you're gonna do a big reverse push up as you exhale. Another big breath. Find your downward facing dog. Bend both knees deeply here in our downward facing dog. We do not have to have straight legs. Really shine your sitting bones up to the sky. Hug your inner arms together. Take a big inhale. Big breath out. Another big inhale. Big breath out. Straighten your right leg, bend your left. Your right heel may or may not touch the ground. Think about tipping your right butt cheek up to the sky. Hold there for a moment or two. Bend both knees. Straighten the left leg, bend the right. Tip your left booty up to the sky. Big inhale. Bend both knees. Push your sternum closer to the tops of your thighs. Hug your inner arms together. Take a big deep breath. Big sigh out. From here, we're going to step our right foot between our hands. And if you need a little helping hand to scooch that leg up there, that's always okay, friends. No matter where you are though, arrive in your lunge, reach your knee forward, send your heel back, take a big breath. See if you can drop your back knee down to the ground. Now I always untuck my um, toe and push down into the top of my foot to relieve pressure from my knee. But if it feels better in the opposite direction for you, that's okay. Take your hand to the top of your right thigh and start to look over your right shoulder. Now, while I'm here, I'm still squeezing the thut on my left side and gently pushing my pubic bone towards my right heel so I can find a deeper stretch. Take a big inhale, big breath out. Another big inhale, big breath out. Slowly unravel, look down to the ground, surround your foot with your hands. And then three times I want you to hinge back and round forward. Now, you might not go as far as me, or maybe you go deeper. That's okay. 
the next time that we push our hips back. Stay right there. Maybe flex the foot and send your tushy back. I am sticking out my booty back behind me. I'm finding that great big stretch right there. Take a nice big deep inhale. Big breath out. Sometimes for me it feels good to kind of rock my hip side to side or find some actual rotation through my right leg. So I'm kind of swiveling the ball and socket joint around up in my hip on the right side. And then pause, maybe send the hips a little further back and start to crawl forward. Now I want you to take your right hand inside the leg and heel toe your right foot a little bit further away. So mine's more in line with the outside edge of my mat. And this is more of a lizard pose. So we can get into our inner thighs, our inner hips a little bit more, but I push my pubic bone down. I do hug my right knee into my right shoulder and I push my right shoulder into the knee so I can keep those muscles active and make sure the alignment is correct. Then we might take a little sway right there. We might stay exactly as we are. But again, we have the option to tip our hips back and rock forward. Tip our hips back and rock forward. One more time, tip back, pause. You might walk the hands in a little bit closer or you might move the leg. We can always adjust little bitty pieces of our body like we did when our leg was more parallel and straight in front of us. I flex, I'm sorry, I hinge my hips and I stick my tushy out and we might find some internal and external rotation on the right leg there. And then again, pause, kind of tip the booty back, maybe push your sternum a little closer to the floor. Take a great big breath, big sigh out. And then slowly crawl forward, gracefully or not at all. Step back, push down to a little child's pose. Let your head be heavy, relax your shoulders for a moment. Find your downward facing dog again, bend your knees. Push your tailbone up to the sky, hug your inner arms towards your ears and slide the shoulders down the back. Now it always feels good to me to kind of keep my head in line with my inner arms. I know some people like to nod the head down. I'm okay with either option, just depends on how your neck, your chest, your shoulders feel. You might even sway the hips a little side to side. Always feel free to explore what our body needs, what our body wants in each and every pose we come to. When you're ready, we will step our left foot between our hands. And again, if you need a little helping hand up there, that's okay. So right now our hands are around our foot, not on the inside edge. I'm pushing my pubic bone forward. I'm pushing my heel back. Just enjoying that great big lunge. When we feel ready, we'll drop our knee down to the ground. If that's too much, you untuck the toe or you, you keep it there. I do untuck my toe. I press it into the top um, there so I can take that pressure off my knee. And then hand to our thigh, look up and over. Just think about twisting from your belly button, driving your pubic bone a little closer towards your heel. Take a great big inhale, big breath out. Another big inhale, big breath out. Look down, take your hand back on the outside edge and a couple of times we'll push back to our little half monkey and then lean forward, back and forth. Just finding that movement in the body, nice to get some mobility going. This time hinge back, pause. And again, you might adjust where your foot is, where your hands are. I tip my hips back. I send my butt up to the sky. I think about my sternum coming closer to my shin, not my head. It's not like I'm curling in here. I'm trying to keep as much as I can kind of a long, flat back. And again, we might find some nice internal and external movement in our leg. You might prefer to be totally still, that's okay. And then when you're ready, crawl forward and we'll take our left hand on the inside edge and heel toe our foot a little bit wider so we're in our lizard pose. And we might notice one side feels totally different than the other side. I like to hug the leg, push my arm into my leg, Send my hips, my pelvis, a gentle tiny bit further forward so I get a deeper stretch. 
feel free to stay here. Or like we did before, we can hinge at the hips and push them back. I didn't say this, but you could always put a blanket or you could double up your mat underneath your knee if it's feeling a little sad. I certainly don't want any position to hurt our body and sometimes certain little bones, little spots need more love, more attention. Last time, push your back, pause. I'd usually walk my uh, hands in and I crawl my foot further out um, just because that's what my body needs in adjustments when I arrive. But I'm trying to kind of tip my butt back towards the wall behind me and maybe find a little swivel of the hips, a little internal, external rotation there. Pause, maybe lean down just a little bit more if that's feeling good. Crawl forward, find your child's pose. If you want to take your hands back by your heels to soften the shoulders and to relax through the back of the body, take a great big breath, big sigh out, another big inhale, big breath out. Slowly roll yourself all the way up to a seat. As always, give yourself a pat on the back. Thank yourself for doing something so good and just for you. I certainly hope you enjoyed class today and I cannot wait to see you again. Thanks again for joining me today. If you want to see more amazing videos just like this, go ahead and download our Yoga Plus app. Welcome to Yoga Plus. Courses available from pupil to yogi. Sort by yoga, fitness, and instructors. Create your own routines. Access the Pose Library. Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. Available on Google Play and the App Store. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.